This is part 5 of JavaScript with ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss JavaScript focus and select methods and how to count the number of characters as you type in a text box and display that count in a label control. First, let's discuss the JavaScript focus method. Focus method is used to put the keyboard cursor in a particular text box when the web page loads so that we can start typing without having to first click in the text box with the mouse. Let's understand this with an example. On this web form, we have this literal text name followed by the ASP.NET text box control. Let's load this page. And look at this. If we have to type something into this name text box, notice that at the moment the text box control does not have the keyboard focus. So for that control to receive the keyboard focus, we will have to first click with the mouse in the text box. So now it has got the keyboard focus and that's when you know, we can type and whatever we type is going to be displayed within the text box control. Now what we want to do is, as soon as the web page loads, we want to set the keyboard focus to this particular text box. And to achieve that, we can use focus method. Notice here, we are calling focus method on this text box one control. Let's save these changes. Now when we reload this page, it's going to receive, I mean this text box is going to receive the focus automatically. Look at that. When I reload the page, look at that, the text box receives the focus automatically without we having to click with the mouse in that text box. So that's the use of focus method. Focus method can be used with most HTML elements. And if you look at the example right here, on this web page we've got a text box control for name and a drop down list for gender. Now let's say when the web page loads, we want to set focus to the drop down list. So when we set the focus to the drop down list, we can make a selection in the drop down list without using mouse. You can simply click the Alt and Down arrow keys simultaneously and then make your selection. So in this example, we are setting focus to the drop down list. To speed things up, I already have typed the required HTML. So let's copy that HTML and paste that into this web page. So at the moment, we are not setting focus to any of the controls on the web page. So when this page loads, no control, that is text box or drop down list, none of them will receive the focus. Now we want to set focus to this drop down list. So document.get element by ID and the ID of the drop down list is drop down list one. And on that, we are calling the focus method. Let's save the changes, reload the page, look at that. When I reload the page, look at that, there is a blue border around the drop down list indicating that it's already uh, having the focus. So now when I press Alt and down arrow keys simultaneously on the keyboard, I can see the selections and I can make uh, you know, whatever selection I want from that drop down list. So using focus method, you can focus any element on the web form. I mean, it works with most HTML controls. Now let's look at the select method. Select method is used to select the contents of a text field. So when you start typing, the new text that you have typed will automatically replace the existing selected text. You can use um, select method with text box and text area controls. Now in this example, we've got a single line text box and a multi-line text box. Now what we want to do is within the multi-line text box, we want to display this default text which says type your comments here. And then when the web page loads, we want that select, uh, you know, the text within the comments text box to be selected. So that when we start typing, you know, the new text that we type will automatically replace the text that is already there. Now to get a multi-line text box in ASP.NET, all we do is use the regular text box and set the text mode to multi-line. So let's look at that in action. So instead of this drop-down list, Let's include a text box control. Let's actually make a copy of this. And let's change the text here to comments. And let's set text mode to multi-line. And then default text to something like type your comments here. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and reload this page. Look at that. We have the name text box and comments text box. And within the com comments text box, we have this default text that we have specified using the text property. But then at the moment, the text is not selected. So if I have to type something into the comments text box, I will have to first select the entire text. And then I have to start typing my new text so that it's going to replace that existing text. OK, now don't you think it would be better if we select that text already when the web page loads so that when we start typing whatever text that we type that is going to replace um, you know the existing default selected text okay and obviously to achieve that we can use select function and we want to select the text that is present within text box to control so let's use that ID here and then when the page loads Look at that. Type your comments here. That's already selected. I click away. Let's reload this one more time. Look at that. Type your comments here. That is selected. Now, if we start typing, the new text is going to replace that existing text. Now, let's look at an example of counting the number of characters as we type into the text box. Look at this. Here, we have a text box control. Now, as we type, the number of characters that we have typed into that text box control should be displayed in this label control. So let's see how to achieve that. So here we have that name text box. As we type into the name text box, we want to display the count of characters. And let's display that count in a label control. So this is an ASP.NET label control. Let's get rid of this default text. And let's write a JavaScript function. Let's call this count characters. So the ID of the text box that we are going to type into is this text box one control. So document dot get element by ID, and the ID of the text box control is text box one dot value is going to give us the value that the user has typed into the text box, and length property is going to give us the number of characters that are present within that text box. Now we want to display that length within the label control. So document.getElementById and the ID of the label control is label1 dot inner HTML equals the length. And then we want to display, you know, append this word characters as well. So let's save these changes, load the page, and look at this. As we type, the number of characters should be displayed in the label control, but it's not displaying them. That's because we are not calling that function. So let's call this function on key up event. So on key up. we are calling this count character. So every time we release a key on the keyboard, this function will be called. And it's going to figure out um, you know, how many characters we have typed into the text box using the length property. And then it's going to display that uh, within the label control. So let's save these changes. Reload this page one more time. Now look at this. As we type, the number of characters are displayed in the label control. Thank you for listening and have a great day.